Welcome to the forge, my wanton wildlings. I'm your creepsmith, and I hope you like my work. Good to see you tonight, wildlings. This evening, I'd just like to give you a short interlude from the recent history of horrible beasties. Fairies from the 19th century in Scotland, a revenant from a scant four years ago, and a demon of revenge that clawed its way out of its lyric origins and onto the silver screen and into comic books. Three poems tonight, The Fairies by William Allingham, Dead Man's Hate by Robert Irvin, and Pumpkinhead by Ed Justin. The Fairies Up the airy mountain, down the rushy glen, we daren't go a-hunting for fear of little men. We folk, good folk, trooping all together, green jacket, red cap, and white owl's feather. Down along the rocky shores some make their home, they live on crispy pancakes of yellow tide foam. Some in the reeds of the black mountain lake, with the frogs for their watchdogs all night awake. High on the top hill the old king sits, he's now so old and gray he's nigh lost his wits. With a bridge of white mist, column kill he crosses. On his stately journeys from Sleva League to Rosses, or going up with the music on cold starry nights to sup with the queen of the gay northern lights. They stole little Bridget for seven years long. When she came down again, her friends were all gone. They took her lightly back between the night and morrow. They thought that she was fast asleep, but she was dead with sorrow. They have kept her ever since deep within the lake, upon a bed of fig leaves watching till she wake. By the craggy hillside through the mosses bare they have planted thorn trees for my pleasure here and there. Is any man so daring as to dig them up in spite he shall find their sharpest thorns inside his bed at night. Up in the airy mountain and down the rushy glen. We daren't go a-hunting for fear of little men. We folk, good folk, trooping all together, green jacket, red cap, and white owl's feather. A Dead Man's Hate They hanged John Farrell in the dawn amid the marketplace. At dusk came Adam Brand to him and spat upon his face. Ho, oh, neighbors all, spake Adam Brand, see ye John Farrell's fate. Tis proven here a hempen noose is stronger than man's hate. For heard ye not John Farrell's vow to be avenged upon me? Come life or death, see how he hangs upon the gallows tree. Yet never a word the people spoke in fear and wild surprise, for the grisly corpse raised up its head and stared with sightless eyes. And with strange motion, slow and stiff, pointed at Adam Brand and clambered down the gibbet tree the noose within its hand. With gaping mouth stood Adam Brand like a statue carved of stone, till the dead man lay a clammy hand hard on his shoulder bone. Then, Adam shrieked like a soul in hell, the red blood left his face, and he reeled away in a drunken run through the screaming marketplace, and close behind the dead man came with a face like a mummy's mask, and the dead joints cracked and the stiff legs creaked with their unwanted task. Men fled before the flying twain or shrank with bated breath, and they saw upon the face of Adam Brand the seal left there by death. He reeled on buckling legs that failed, yet on and on he fled. So through the shuddering marketplace, the dying fled the dead. At the riverside fell Adam Brand with a scream that rent the skies. Across him fell John Farrell's corpse, nor ever did the twain rise. There was no wound on Adam Brand, but his brow was cold and damp for the fear of death and blown out his life as a witch blows out a lamp.
His lips writhed up in a horrid grin like a fiend's on Satan's coals, and the men that looked on his face that day, his stare still haunts their souls. Such was the doom of Adam Brand, a strange unearthly fate, for stronger than death or hempen noose are the fires of a dead man's hate. Pumpkinhead. Keep away from Pumpkinhead, unless you're tired of living. His enemies are mostly dead, he's mean and unforgiving. Laugh at him, and you're undone, but in some dreadful fashion. Vengeance he considers fun, and plans it with a passion. Time will not erase or blot a plot that he has brewing. It's when you think that he's forgot he'll conjure your undoing. Bolted doors and windows barred. Guard dogs prowling in the yard won't protect you in your bed. Nothing will from Pumpkinhead. So, should you ever chance to encounter any of the eclectic evils that Earth endures, remember your meter and your rhyme. Your story just might make it big. Stay scary, my wildlings. Always be careful of the mischief and vengeance of others, no matter how small, and make the most of your nights.